I started this gangsta sh** And this the mother thanks I get Hello I started this gangsta sh** And this the mother Hey, if you're new here and enjoying the content, please take a minute to hit that subscribe button. Join us. Hey, all right, everyone. Welcome to Comic Artist Pro Secrets. My name is Ethan Van Skyver, 26-year veteran of the comic book industry, world's most charming, elegant, eloquent, and yeah, humble man, great big Star Wars fan. And yet, uh, I should be freaking out. Wait, let me flip this pencil around. I should be freaking out if I'm, if I'm such a fan of Star Wars, and yet, uh, I am not. Uh, I'm not freaking out. I'm rather bored and aloof. I feel like, uh, I don't know, I feel like Star Wars and I have gotten, uh, uh, you know, a separation. Uh, they've moved out. I'm now checking out Captain Marvel. I'm like, yeah, Captain Marvel, looking good. Uh, I, I, I've, you know what? Here's, here's the situation, Lucasfilm. Uh, we had a bad year together. 2018 was a pretty rough year for Star Wars fans. Uh, and our relationship, our trust in Lucasfilm has been pr uh, pretty badly bruised, I, I would say. Pretty badly bruised after the horrible The Last Jedi. Uh, after the dreadful uh, Soylo, A Soy Wars Story, and of course, the first L that Star Wars fans actually officially handed to Lucasfilm. You lost money on that movie. That is how bad our relationship has gotten, Star Wars. It's gotten really, really bad. And then you turned around and you accused us of being toxic. You called the fans toxic fandom, harassers, bigots. All of the same stuff, the same playbook that these SJWs use in every single fandom. And it's tiring. And we're all kind of beaten down at this point. Now, uh, you know, uh, some good stuff has happened, I guess. You know, Kiri Hart is gone. There were rumors that Ryan Johnson is gone. Uh, it turns out that Ryan Johnson has has denied all of that. He claims to still be working on uh, his Star Wars trilogy. My view is that, look, you know, we've got the Game of Thrones guys doing their trilogy first. If Ryan Johnson is still doing a trilogy, it's not going to happen for the next at least five years. Um, so I, I kind of doubt. You know, I kind I think it's going to kind of fizzle out, uh, even if there there won't be some like you know uh, satisfying. Uh, event like Ryan Johnson being publicly fired out of a cannon, uh, you know, it, it's still probably not going to happen. But uh, beyond that, you know, you gave Kathleen Kennedy another three years right in our faces. Uh, you underscored her failure. You rewarded her failure. Uh, she lost $182 million for Lucasfilm last year. And here we all sit. Uh, Christmas has gone. The one year point. All right, look, the Star Wars Episode Nine comes out December 20th. I'm sorry to yell, Star Wars. Lucasfilm, I'm sorry to yell. I gotta yell at you right now. I mean, if this is if this is what the freaking out is that, that you know is referred to in this title, uh maybe maybe this is apropos. I've gotta actually yell. Uh the the one year point, December twentieth, two thousand eighteen, this past Christmas, came and went without anything, without any love letters, uh, without any little kisses or smooches in the form of teaser trailer a little footage a uh, picture of rose tico in her new sith lord form darth thorn uh, with her pink lightsaber and a scar running down the side of her face pissed off at, at, at finn uh no nothing like that uh we got ignored we got ignored so we thought we heard rumors oh maybe it'll be the super bowl nah, nothing nothing for the super bowl valentine's day has come and passed we're all out of love as air supply once said remember air supply Remember Star Wars? It's the same thing. It's the same question. So here we are, and now we're getting teased here by some Star Wars Twitter account. The Star Wars Twitter posted a weird tweet, and fans are freaking out. What kind of... Star Wars, we have to do something about the media. We have to do something about the shill media and the fact that it's adults speaking to other adults who are pretending to be eight-year-olds. That is the tone of SJWism within all of these fan communities, and it has to stop. I don't like this. And fans are freaking out. No, we're not. Not really. We're just irritated. We're irritable. We're bored. We've moved on. We're all checking out Brie Larson. You know, we're like, Brie Larson's Captain America. That's where the irritation is. Brie Larson's Captain uh, Captain Marvel, I should say. Did I say Captain America? Brie Larson's Captain Marvel. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's where the outrage is. Let's watch, let's watch Brie Larson burn down the MCU. That's, that's caught our interest. And now here you are trying to get our attention again. All right, let me read this article and we'll see what's up. Uh, ah, 
promotional Twitters, a regular source of both great joy and great consternation to fandom everywhere. Sometimes they bring trailers, exclusive clips, interviews, all the joys the excited fan demands. Sometimes they bring a bounty like today's. Tweets that don't make any sense. I gotta take a minute here. Hold on. I mean, I actually felt myself beginning to vomit. I felt... I felt myself beginning to vomit. I got it. Just... Whew. All right, let's, let's see. Equivalent of uh, saltines. Kind of like something. Uh, what works to suppress vomit? Ginger ale. And this. Oh, um, all right. Connect with the universe. Peace. In with anger. Out with love. All right, back to this article. Hello, Star Wars UK Twitter account. Long time listener, first time blogger. I have some questions about this tweet. Uh, all right, here's the tweet uh, that came out. Uh, we'll hit the play button. Why not? Two. Yeah. This is me banging my head against the wall. All right, so seven times. Seven times. Anakin Skywalker... Uh, Han Solo. This, this is where the fun begins. They're saying, uh, the calm before the galactic storm. All right. So this uh, tweet is dated February sixteenth. That was yesterday. Today is Sunday the seventeenth. Uh, I have heard rumors, but I don't believe rumors anymore. I don't believe any of this nonsense. I don't. I don't believe. I think I really do think that Lucasfilm just test. They just test ideas. They just put things out onto the internet and see how fans react. Oh, we're done reacting. I think people are pretty much done reacting. Uh, but I heard rumors that February 20th, that would be Wednesday, uh, this coming Wednesday, uh, they are going to drop the uh, trailer. But, I mean, this makes it feel like it's going to happen tonight. I mean, tonight's Sunday. Is there something on TV tonight where the, the trailer could drop? Or, I don't know. Um, uh, do I care? I guess I care a little bit. I would like to be I would like to be enthusiastic about Star Wars again. I'm, I'm like... The irritation is palpable at this point. You know, it, you know, the the waiting for anything about this and the sort of, uh, I don't know. Look, giving Kathleen Kennedy three more years really took the wind out of everyone's sails. That took the hope, you know, out of uh, a new hope. We're out of we're out of hope, uh, a no hope. And now, uh, wait. And I'm not the only one. I came across this particular post via some publications and fans wondering if this meant some announcement was on the way. A trailer? A title reveal for episode 9? Something else? It's certainly not unlike a Twitter account like this to post an enig enigmatic tease. Okay. Alright, I know, I, I mean, this is the thing. We've got people now who uh, couldn't possibly be less interested in Star Wars and what, and what Lucasfilm is doing right now, uh, who are paid... Uh, to pretend to be, again, eight, maybe nine, ten-year-olds, uh, ten-year-olds uh, in adult bodies, um, talking about, pretending to be excited about this, basically shilling for Lucasfilm, when the fans are just kind of punched. I mean, we, look, we we got we spent the entire year being called toxic fans. Everyone is just kind of tired and bored at this point. And yeah, we are. We're looking at uh, Shazam which actually looks fantastic. We're looking at Captain Marvel and that foot race there. Star Wars is way on down the line. Uh, we kind of lost, again, we lost focus on it. We lost interest in it. The Phantom Menace is just kind of, uh, I don't know. I just sense boredom, honestly. I, I don't sense excitement. I sense boredom. But li listen, I'm all for it. I would like to make videos about Star Wars that are excited again, uh, or at least outraged or interested in what they're doing. Um, give me something, guys. Give me something. Uh but golly, you see what I mean? Do you understand the tone to which you, you're being spoken to in? Do you, do you feel it? <laughs> but golly, for a tease, this sure is an odd one. Why does it repeat the same clip seven? Yes, I counted times, seven times. Uh, I don't know. That's uh, that's some, uh, yeah, that's some numerology nonsense there. I wonder why. Well, I mean, J.J. Abrams did do Star Wars Episode 7. The seven times suggest that he's going to get right back to the to Star Wars Episode 7 and skip over uh, Star Wars Episode 8 and the garbage they're in. Ooh, that would be interesting. Everything's a coded message. Uh, it's possible that this is just a reference that somehow got wonky on the way to the world, the wide world of the internet. Or maybe it is a tease. I have no idea. What I do know, however, is that this is where the fun begins. Is this the, is this the end of the article? Jesus, thank God. 
Um, yeah. All right. So guys, uh, I'm I'm posting this video to warn you. Uh, uh, Star Wars official Star Wars Twitter is making noises to suggest that they are finally all right about two months late finally going to begin promoting star wars episode 9 and then pablo hidalgo can stop pretending that he doesn't know what the title of the movie is uh which he did and people said uh, do you know the title he said well if it does have a title i don't know it pablo lied again pablo's a liar and then he came out later and said yeah well that's what you say to get people to stop asking you well yeah you lie i mean that's what lies do pablo hidalgo Lies and misdirection, uh, they get people to um, believe something that isn't true, and then they stop asking. You. Yeah, that's that's why uh, that's why people lie. Uh, so good. Uh, this is probably the most irritated Star Wars video I've ever made. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm gonna. I will get. Uh, I will get. I will get back on. I will get back on track uh, with following what these uh, what these people are doing. But man, I yeah, it's. I really feel like Star Wars kind of fell off the tracks, and it is—it's probably got its focus uh, on too many balls. <laughs> That's fine. They're probably looking at too many balls right now. Balls. Uh, yeah, they—they they probably are. They've got the Mandalorian. You know, they're working on a bunch of different things. They're teasing various TV shows. They're actually teasing a Lando Calrissian TV show now. I don't know if this is going to involve Dong Lover. I really. It, it better. I, are they gonna, are they going to do like a fill in dong lover, just a, a guy who kind of looks like him to be Lando, or are they actually going to tie this guy down to doing more work as Lando Calrissian? Who knows? Who knows? But you know that's that's what they're saying. They're they're planning way too much stuff. They're talking about way, doing way too much stuff um, at a time when I really feel like uh, the boredom uh, is thick as pea soup uh, and. Uh, you know, something's going to have to work before we can, something's going to have to work before fandom can get, I don't know, motivated and excited again. All right, guys, that's it. If you enjoyed the content of this video, if you if you enjoy the, the, this channel and everything therein, please do subscribe. Please do hit the like button and please share the videos and join this family. Love you. Talk to you again soon. Hey, I got a P.O. box. Want to send me some mail? Send it to Ethan Van Skyver, P.O. Box 607, Marlton, New Jersey, 08053. And I'll probably open it up on the live stream. Thanks very much, everyone. Hey, want to follow me on Twitter? Are you sure? Well, if so, I'm at Ethan Van Skyver. That's at Ethan Van Skyver. See you there. Join the fandom menace and execute your own Order 66 with our incredible line of t-shirts, Soy Low, A Soy Wars Story, Tico, A Soy Wars Story, and our brand new smoking hot Soy Wars Plan 9. Make a statement today. This is the only trilogy you'll ever need. The link is below in the description. If you enjoyed this video and want to become part of this community, subscribe to this channel by clicking the Laughing Man Face logo right on your screen. Ring the bell for notifications as well. You'll never miss a live chat. And stay tuned, another video by Comic Artist Pro Secrets is coming right up.